Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about the remaining drugs in the lipid lowering drugs section. Now if you expect just one question on lipid lowering drugs uh, on the step 1 then that question will most likely be on statins. So make sure you know the statins in and out. Okay, so let's start to today's video. The first drug is fish oil and marine omega-3 fatty acids. The mechanism of action is it is believed to decrease free fatty acid delivery to liver and decrease activity of triglyceride synthesizing enzyme. Now, I, would, I doubt that they can ask this mechanism because it is not yet fully proven. So, it is less likely to be asked on step 1 but because it is given in first aid, it must be important. So, we definitely need to remember this mechanism of action. The side effects include nausea, indigestion, bad breath, rash, fish aftertaste and the last one is it increases the bleeding risk in people who take anticoagulants or antiplatelet agents like heparin or uh, aspirin. So make sure you remember this thing about bleeding risk. The second drug is PCSK9 inhibitors. Now the full form is pro protein convertase subtylicin kexin type 9 inhibitors. Obviously you don't need to remember the full name and the examples are alirocumab and evolocumab. Now let's learn about the mechanism of action of PCSK9 inhibitors. PCSK9 is an enzyme which is produced by the liver. This enzyme binds with the LDL receptors on the surface of the liver and it destroys those LDL receptors. So let's, let's try to understand with a diagram. Let's say these are LDL receptors. Okay. And these are PCSK9 enzymes, the star, okay? PCSK9. Now when this PCSK9 combines with LDL receptor, it destroys the LDL receptors. Now what PCSK9 inhibitors do? Uh, let's say these are LDL receptors again. And PCSK9 inhibitors, they are humanized monoclonal antibodies, okay? So these are antibodies and they bind with PCSK9 enzyme. So now the PCSK9 enzyme won't be able to reach LDL receptor and thus PCSK9 inhibitors will reduce the destruction of LDL receptors. Now because the number of LDL receptors on the liver will increase, the liver will be able to take more LDL from the blood. So basically let's say this is liver these are LDL receptors, this is bloodstream. So these receptor LDL receptors are necessary to take LDL from blood inside the liver. So when the number of LDL receptor increases on the surface of the liver, the liver will be able to take more LDL from the blood and thus the level of LDL in the blood will decrease. This is the mechanism of PCSK9 inhibitors. Now the side effects includes allergic reactions, upper respiratory tract infections, myalgias, delirium, dementia and other neurocognitive effects. Uh, this was all about PCSK9 inhibitors. Now the last and the most important drug is HMG coenzyme A reductase inhibitors which we also call statins. Now the mechanism of action of statins is that it decreases the cholesterol synthesis inside the liver. This is the full mechanism of cholesterol synthesis. Obviously few steps are not shown here. But uh, uh, acetyl coenzyme A is converted to HMG coenzyme A which is converted to mevalonate and then cholesterol. Now the step, the rate limiting step here is HMG, uh, the conversion of HMG coenzyme A to mevalonate and the enzyme responsible here is HMG coenzyme A reductase. Now when statins, they inhibit this enzyme and thus there will be decreased cholesterol formation. Now that's the first mechanism. The cholesterol formation inside the liver will be reduced. Now to compensate for this, liver will try Sorry. To compensate for this, liver, liver will try to make more LDL receptors Liver will try to make more LDL receptors on the surface of the liver. Thus, 
the mechanism of PCSK9 inhibitor and HMG coenzyme reductase inhibitors is slightly similar. Here, there will be increase in LDL receptors on the liver as a compensatory mechanism, while here there will be less destruction of LDL receptors. So at the end, both of them leads to increase in LDL receptor on the surface of the liver. And this is very, very, very important for the exam. Now, uh, another reason why statins are more, more successful than other lipid lowering drugs in reducing the uh, risk of, uh, let's say, a myocardial infarction is because they have anti-inflammatory effect on the uh, wall of the blood vessel. Anti-inflammatory effect on the wall of the blood vessels which reduces the formation of atherosclerosis and the platelet plug. So now let's understand the side effect of uh, statins. The first is hepatotoxicity, second is myopathy especially when it is used with fibrates and niacin and this is the most 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 important question asked from the section of lipid lowering drugs so make sure you know about the effect of myopathy on uh, after the use of statins with fibrates and niacin now there is one interesting thing to know when statins were uh, newly found people thought that it is a wonder drug which means that it has no side effects and people thought that we can eat all the junk food, we don't need to do any kind of exercise, we just need to take statins and that will decrease the risk of coronary, coronary artery diseases, which was not true because later on it was found that it causes hepatotoxicity and myopathy as well. Another side effect of uh, statins is it may increase the effect of warfarin. So make sure when the patient is taking any kind of uh, anticoagulant or uh, anticoagulant like warfarin then statin should not be given together and also the same side effects prevails in the fish oil and other omega-3 fatty acid containing substances so that was all about the remaining drugs in this section